Today I am going to make raw vegan Persian raisin cookies. I am mixing some coconut with um, green raisins. I put it in my Vitamix and I'm going to turn it on and mix it. I'm adding two spoons of flax seeds. Uh, it's better if you can grind it first. I also added a few pieces of cardamom. I peeled it, got uh, the, what is inside in there with a little bit of water and mixed everything in a Vitamix. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, saffron that is already grinded. I'm going to add some water to it. You can either add cold water or hot water. I'm going to add a little more, mix it with some water, and then add it to my Vitamix mixture. So this is the texture that I got. I'm going to add raisins to it, and I'm going to put it on top of the Teflon sheet inside my dehydrator. I'm going to add half a cup of raisins and mix it. I added some rose water that I get by <clears throat> mixing some roses uh, and water. Let it soak. So I added about one tablespoon of that because I wanted more flavor. And I'm going to add more raisins, another half a cup. Using two spoons <clears throat> to put the um, dough into my uh, cookie sheet which is the dehydrator with the teflon sheet on it the dehydrator tray with a teflon sheet so this is going to be similar to persian raisins cooked raisin cookies persian raisin cookies i used about a cup and a half of coconut and then i'm going to put it into the dehydrator and i will test it and see how long do they need to dry out I'm making these cookies for the holiday and the raw vegan now I'm gonna put it into the dehydrator this is how it looks like after two hours I'm going to turn it around and put it in for another at least two hours or until it is uh, dried dried out you can put it in for two to three hours on each side. I use the 118 degree for the dehydrator. You can use 118 or 115. Less than 118 is fine. They're ready and they are delicious. If you want my free recipes, make sure to click the link below.